Hey guys, welcome back to Unqualified Critics. I have some commentary and thoughts on the newly unveiled or newly leaked, really, because this isn't a proper unveiling, but basically leaked mini console from Arcade One Up. And this is what the controller looks like. Now, I, like many of you, I first heard about this on Cool Toys channel. This information is publicly available. FCC has all this info available. You can go look up tastemakers and see any products they've applied for. And you ought to know that because this is public information. Now, this info is telling. It gives us some new insights about a product that was briefly teased at CES. And we've been told nothing more since. It also looks like it's been slightly redesigned. So first off, I'm going to break down what we know about this. And then I'm going to give you guys my commentary on what I think about it. I do have a lot of thoughts on this, so buckle up. All right. Number one, it is a controller and a console that is wired to your television. It is not a dongle. The original deal at CES was a dongle. And by the way, I want to tell you, and I know a lot of you already know this, this is different from the micro consoles that were like a little television set, old school looking television set, it's like a ColecoVision hooked up to it. And it looked like an actual set piece that you'd have on like a mini play set from the 70s or whatever. Those looked awesome. I can't wait till those are released. It's rumored they're not coming till 2021. I don't know if that's confirmed or not, but because it's not listed on the FCC site, that makes me think it is in fact delayed until 2021. That is unfortunate. Product looks awesome. This product, I don't think looks very cool. And I'm gonna tell you why. But again, let's go through the details. So we do have this console. It will wirelessly connect, but you can hook up with USB for wired connection up to two controllers. This proprietary controller, the controller is powered by AA batteries. Nothing super shocking here. What's interesting are two bits. Oh, and I should add too, it's a 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection, which you would expect that, but I just want to clear up because I know some of the older at games consoles used infrared connection, which is super junk. That's not what this is. We're getting 2.4 gigahertz, which is cool. All right. These are six button controllers. And as cool toy mentioned in his video, this has been redesigned, but it does still look like a six button Genesis or a Saturn controller. This is not a unique look at all. There's nothing about this controller that screams Mega Man other than a picture of Mega Man on it uh, and the colors. I am a sucker for the light blue and the, the medium blue, by the way. Now, I think there's a way to win with this, and I think it's charging super low price. I don't think it's going to be as cheap as I'm about to say. Given that it's not a dongle, but it does come with an actual set-top box, given that that set-top box has wireless capability for its controllers, given that it has a micro SD slot, which I'm going to come back to in a minute, I don't think this is going to be the price that I'm about to say. But if I were trying to win with this product, I'm looking at $29.99, maybe $39.99 tops. I wouldn't go any higher than that. Now, this may cost more than that to build. Look, I have no idea what this costs to produce, but I don't think this product makes any sense for more than 40 US dollars. I really don't. Now, on the upside, there is a micro SD slot that is confirmed in these images. And these buttons are, as you've noticed, not just six button, they're actually eight button because we have shoulder buttons, although I have no idea why, but I'll come back to that. Now the games themselves, at least for this lineup here, for the Pac-Man lineup, and I don't, I haven't seen anywhere else the uh, lineup for the other consoles, but we know the Pac-Man ones. Each one of these are one or two button games. However, it's an eight button controller, so what's that about? I think we're gonna be able to add more games with that SD card, and it has been speculated that, per oh, I, by the way, I misspoke. You can see the other games are down here. So we'll go through those in a second. I think the SD card is gonna be for official, official game expansions. I do not think it will be for us to sideload our own unauthorized games. Reason being, I believe, I don't have confirmation of this, but this is my belief that for Arcade One Up, when they talk to licensing partners, one of their big differentiators against Say At Games is they're all official, baby. You cannot do anything unofficial with their product unless, you know, I, I know you can swap out their PCB and put on a Raspberry Pi and, and there are even ways to hack the PCBs and add a few more games or whatever. But basically it is an official games product only. And if they're not gonna break that seal for their big main event product of the three quarter scale cabinet, I don't think they're gonna do that for a product like this that's gonna be experimental and they don't know if it's gonna work well. But let's say they launch this product and it flops, but it allows you to put on unauthorized games. Now they may have just damaged the trust of their licensors. So I'm saying all that to say, I really do not believe 
we're going to be able to sideload our games. Happy to be wrong on that. I have no confirmation of that. But that is my speculation and why I believe it. But that SD card has to be there for a reason. And it's possible that it's here for firmware updates. I just doubt it because there's already a USB port. And we don't know for sure that that's a data port. It could just be a power port. That is technically possible. But given that all the other micro consoles, the mainstream micro consoles that have been out in the last few years, all of their USB power ports were also data ports. And I'm just assuming that's the case here. So if that's the case, then that SD card is only for one thing, and that's for the possibility of these guys to sell us more SD cards in the future with game expansion, which for the record, I'm a big fan of that if that's the case. I've talked before that I think the one missed opportunity with all the micro consoles we've seen the last few years, the TurboGrafx, the Sega Genesis Mini, the Super Nintendo Mini, etc., is that you cannot officially expand the games list. And I kind of get why that is, by the way, because these weren't high priority products for their companies. They were kind of side products. They, they weren't meant to be a whole platform with a life of their own. But for Arcade 1UP, if they're going to do this, they're going to want it to have a life of its own over time. Letting us add games is a good idea and a differentiator for a mini console. And as far as I can tell, the only differentiator for this over other consoles, I know they have their own games list, but, it, but we'll come back to that. But I think that would make some sense. That's really all I like about this. I mean, number one, what games are they gonna let us out that use eight buttons? It's very rare to have an arcade game that uses eight buttons. I just, I don't see that. What, what this screams to me is that they took more of a standard controller mold and just reused it. That is where I think this is diluting the Arcade 1UP brand. They're about nostalgia, they're about authenticity, in my opinion. That's what I think their brand equity represents. And there's nothing, this is barely a nostalgic product I like Mega Man. I have zero nostalgia for this. This controller never existed. This is just a new thing. The games on it are original, but who cares? I don't, I don't think that that's enough, especially if this product is what I think it will be, which is going to be in more of like a $60 price point. I just don't think that's enough. When you look at the console itself, there's nothing nostalgic about that. It just looks like an old school set top box that you might have had for like a basic cable package in the early 90s. So maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is nostalgic. And you know, my caveat to this, guys, I, on one hand, I feel bad. I don't want to seem like I'm trashing this because people work on this stuff. People take it seriously. And there will be some people that get this product and probably love it. So I don't want to take anything away from that, but I have to give you my opinion. And my opinion is I just don't think this speaks to Arcade One of the brand. I think it's especially confusing when they have that really cool micro console play floating out there that I guess we might see in 2021, where you have the miniature TV screens with the little miniature authentic looking controllers. Those are freaking dope. Can't wait till those are released. But if these come out first, and that's what people think of when they call an arcade on a micro console, how are they going to give us something totally different next year? I think that's confusing. My last point, this games list actually does look awesome, and it really just makes me want to have a real arcade machine with this list. Galaga 88, Dig Dug, Dragon Spirit. I'm a big Dragon Spirit fan. I think a lot of people sleep on that game. You could say it's baby's first shoot 'em up whatever. I love the music. I love the aesthetic. It's a little slower paced for a shoot 'em up, but I love the gameplay nonetheless. New Rally X, a lot of people have been wanting to get that in a larger cabinet, mappy, same thing. So the games list is there, no question. I wish we could get a Pac-Man cabinet with these bad boys, even if it was a cocktail machine. This is an even better lineup, in my opinion, than the Miss Pac-Man cocktail. And that, that's an arguable opinion, you might disagree with that, but I would rather have this games line up there probably sub out pac-man or whatever um i guess it, it does have the original pac-man i'd probably sub that out for miss pac-man but other than that man i'd be good with this list all right so let's zoom in on this a little bit and see what we're getting for all the games lists again cool i already ran through this but let's take a look for the disney one you get disney's gargoyles lilo and stitch mouse capade uh ducktales nice Rescue Ranger, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. There's a game I've been playing a really long time. Adventures in the Magical Kingdom, Timon and Pumbaa's Jungle, Jungle Games, Lion King One and Two. So that's a pretty good lineup. I've not played all of those games, but those are those are the big hits you'd want. The Mega Man is Mega Man One through Six. So I'm sure those are all the console version. Uh, there were arcade Mega Mans, but they didn't go all the way through Six. So I don't know a whole lot about Mega Man Arcade anyway. But this tells me, you know, obviously. Games like Lion King, we're, we're clearly going all in on retro console games. Pac-Man, we get Pac-Man, Pac-Mania, New Rally X, Galaga, Galaga 88, nice. 
Dig Dug, Super Xevious, uh, Rolling Thunder, Dragon Spirit, hell yeah, and Mappy. So good games lists, and I like a lot of these games, as I said, but I just don't feel that nostalgic pull to pick one of these up. All right, so I'm done yapping. You guys let me know what you think below. Um, the products are out here if you want to take a look on the FCC website. Pretty much know everything there is to know about them. I mean, it's possible this product doesn't get released. It's possible it gets delayed and gets retooled. But odds are this is what we're going to see as a released final product. Curious what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all the retro gaming news and commentary. Shout out to Cool Toy for breaking this news. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Kids scream